Welcome to Woggle Guys. Now over time, the amount of apps, videos and images stored on your phone will increase. Don't worry though, there's no need to panic. When the day comes when you get the dreaded storage nearly full message on your phone, it just means that it's time for some extra housekeeping. In this guide, I'll show you the steps I take to find that extra storage on my phone. The first thing I need to do is open the settings app shown on this page. If you can't find the settings app on your phone, you can quickly look for it by tapping into the search bar and searching for the settings app. It's worth noting that you may already have the same search bar in a different location on your phone, but it should be visible. Let's tap on the settings app to open it. A long list of options is then presented. I'm going to scroll down the page, however, until I reach the storage option. You'll see at the moment I've used 93% of the available storage on my phone and have just over 8 gigabytes free, which isn't a lot. Let's tap into that option to choose it. The storage section of your phone has a breakdown of where your apps, videos, images and everything else on your phone is stored. So let's go through each of the important ones in turn and I'll show you how to save space in each area. I'll start by tapping into the apps section at the top. This displays all of my apps order by size, with the largest, Spotify, at the top. If you want to make the biggest space savings, you should start with the apps at the top of this list. Now you don't have to delete an app to reduce the space it's using. And of course, if you find any apps that you just don't use anymore, then you can delete them completely. And I'll show you how to do that later in this guide. If I scroll down this page a little, and pop into the Channel 4 app, which is nearly using a gigabyte of space, you'll see that the app itself only takes up a tiny part of that space, 70 megabytes. The majority of the space used by the app is from the data I have added to the phone. In this case, it will be movies or programs I've downloaded to the app. And you'll see there's a small amount of storage used for the cache. Now the cache is used to temporarily store information the app will use and can usually be safely deleted. To clear all the user data I have added, I need to tap on the clear storage icon near the top of the page. A pop-up message will then appear that asks me if I'm 100% sure I want to permanently delete the information stored by the app. You should only do this if you're sure you don't need the information in this app. If you're not sure, open the app and check it out. Only proceed if you're confident nothing important will be lost. Now I'm happy to remove all the items I've downloaded to the app, so I'll tap on the delete link to proceed. You'll see that both the user data stored on this app and the temporary cache data is now completely deleted. The total size of the app on my phone has been reduced from nearly 1 gigabyte to just 70 megabytes, the size of the app itself. Using this exact method, you can now step through each of the apps on your phone, reviewing those which are taking up a lot of space and deleting the stored information as shown. Do make sure though, when deleting any information from your phone, that you don't lose anything valuable to you that you can't find elsewhere. So let's now return to our main storage page. I'll now pop into the video section of storage, as this takes up nearly 20 gigabytes of data. Here you can see there are a large number of videos stored, some more than 2 gigabytes alone, so that's a lot of space to be saved. I can select a video to be deleted by long pressing it. This means I should tap and hold the video on the screen for about 2 seconds. You'll know you've successfully selected a video when a little tick appears in the top left hand corner of the video. Once one video has been selected, you can then quickly select any others just by tapping them. As before, be really sure you want to delete any video before selecting it as choosing to delete the video will permanently remove it from your phone. Once I'm happy with all the videos I've selected, to delete them, all I need to do is tap on the trash can icon, shown at the top of the screen. On doing that, a message will pop up asking me if I'm sure I want to move these files to trash. To confirm that, I'll tap on the Move Files to Trash button. My phone confirms that all those files have now been moved to the bin saving nearly 6 gigabytes of data. Let's now return to our main storage menu again. 
I'll now take what I've learned about deleting videos and pop into the images section to delete any pictures I don't want in exactly the same way. As before, I'll just press and hold an image to select it, and once a little tick appears in the top right hand corner of the image, I can then quickly tap all the other images I want to select. To delete all those pictures, I'll tap the trash can icon at the top of the page. And as before, a message will ask me to confirm I really do want to delete the images. Once I've confirmed that, all those images will be moved to the trash can. If we now return to the main storage menu one final time, let's look at the game section of storage. As I tap on that, the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that the amount of information stored in the trash section on this page is increasing. Once we've reviewed all these storage areas, the last thing we'll do is tidy up everything that has been moved to our trash can, but we'll talk about that a little later. For now, let's continue into the game section. Now games can take up a lot of space, but similar to the apps we saw earlier, most of this space used will be things you've added to the app. So for a game, this might be saved progress in the game or items you've saved. Deleting any of this data will remove it from your phone. So make sure and check before deleting anything that you're happy to lose it. I can clear the saved user data just by tapping the clear storage icon shown at the top of the page. My phone asked me to confirm I really do want to proceed and I'll tap on the delete button to approve that. As before, all our user data and cache data is removed. And that's pretty much all you need to know to increase the amount of storage available on your phone. As promised though, let's now return one last time to the storage menu to take a look at the trash folder we talked about earlier. Whenever you delete any videos or images on your phone, they're not immediately deleted, as will happen with the user data in an app. The items are moved temporarily to the trash can. Just like trash cans in the real world, every so often this trash can will be automatically cleaned of any items added to it. So the items in the trash can will continue to use up space on your phone. In our case, items are deleted permanently 30 days after I add them to this bin. This is to give you enough time to change your mind if you wish. You can just add it back into storage on your phone. I'm happy I do want to delete all of these items I've moved to trash however. So I'm going to select all of them to permanently delete them from my phone. Unlike earlier examples where we selected images or videos individually, in this instance I'm going to select to delete all of the items in this folder with one click and delete them together. To do that, I'll tap on the small empty circle next to the all items heading at the top of the page. All of the items in my trash can are then selected. To permanently delete all of these items, all I now need to do is tap on the large delete button at the bottom of the page. As always, we'll be asked if we really want to delete the files we've chosen from our phone. To confirm that, I'll tap one final time on the delete button. My phone will then proceed to delete all of the files selected and you'll see that our trash can has now been emptied. Those items have been permanently deleted. Let's now return to our old friend, the Settings app, and we'll look at one final space-saving measure you can take. I mentioned earlier that you don't have to remove an app to save space on it, but sometimes you just fall out of love with apps, and it's easier to remove them completely. If I scroll near to the top of that page, you'll see there is an Apps option shown. Let's tap on that once to go into it. The app section shows us some of my recently opened apps, but I'm interested in the link to see all 291 apps on my phone. If I tap on that, a long list of all my apps in name order is displayed. Now, unfortunately, you can't sort these apps viewed by size. Believe me, I've tried to do it and failed, but it would have been very handy in this case. But if you know the app you're looking for, you can quickly find it by tapping on the small search icon shown in the top right of the page. This opens up a search bar, and if you type the name of the app you want to delete, your phone will search for that and return a link to the app. If I tap on the app found, the app page is then presented, and you'll see there's an option there to uninstall the app. If I return to the list of apps, however, I'm going to scroll down the apps list until I find the app I want to remove. Let's tap into the Bands in Town app. 
and we'll quickly look at how to remove it. To delete this app or any app completely from my phone, I need to uninstall it. Let's tap on the uninstall trash can icon shown on this page. A message will then appear asking me to confirm that I really do want to uninstall this app. Remember, once an app is deleted, you'll lose anything you've stored on the app, including your login information, so be double sure you really want to delete it. I'll tap on the OK button to approve that. My phone then tells me that the app has been uninstalled. I hope this Woggle guide has helped you to understand more about the steps you can take to find extra storage space on your phone. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. And if you have a moment, please do consider giving this video a like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for taking the time to watch and do look after yourself until next time.